We have a lot of big issues in the news right now, and they are related. It all comes down to concentrated wealth and power, oligopoly, corporatocracy, monopoly, and Live Nation's a good beast to tackle because it is such an egregious monopoly that hopefully if they're held to account for any of their practices, it will carry over into more consequential industries like, you know, grocery stores, big pharma, etc. So if you start from the premise that Hollywood and celebrities are just a front for the military industrial complex, intelligence agencies, and cultural hegemony around the world, you will get a bigger picture of why terrible things keep happening <clears throat> to Brittany, both through weaponizing the police, the ambulance, the media, etc., because it's bigger than, oh, Lou Taylor, okay? But who is protecting Lou Taylor? And no hate to this big-time creator, but if you don't understand why Brittany's not getting justice, and the, the protection racket that Live Nation is giving Lou Taylor, then, then you're not starting from a place where you can actually <laughs> dismantle power and get justice. The Black Music Action Coalition was sharing Lou Taylor's story just the other day. Maybe they're just giving her a free pass for human trafficking because she is their business manager. And she's also Diddy's business manager. And Justin Bieber. It's almost like a cartel. And just today, BMAC promoted an event they're hosting with Live Nation. The fall of unions and antitrust enforcement go hand in hand, right, with corporate consolidation. What does that mean for entertainment, the media, baby formula, or whatever, right? Through this consolidation, right, we get a more and more unifying view of how things should be from a small, tiny subset of society. If people understand how this happened in the entertainment industry and how entertainment is tied to intelligence, then they're going to be more media savvy and be able to fight the man better. It's not just the 2010 merger of Live Nation and Ticketmaster. It is also the 2008 merger of Ticketmaster and Frontline Management, the world's largest talent management company at that time and to this day. Irving Azoff, who merged Live Nation, Ticketmaster, and Frontline, he had a frontline management before this that he sold to MCA in 1986. It's really strange that MCA would give Irving this huge deal because he was being investigated for mafia involvement. Who gets a jail out of free card and makes millions of dollars from it? <laughs> Maybe someone who cooperates with the feds. And everything points to not just Cointelpro disrupting activist movements, but them disrupting the music industry starting in the 1960s. People on this app have complained about UMG a lot, but do you know it's Universal Music Group? And that Universal Pictures was bought by MCA, so MCA really is the Universal and the Live Nation of today. See, Robert F. Kennedy's Justice Department made MCA dissolve their talent agency because they were getting into TV production, bought a movie studio, and a record company. Well, Irving being able to sell Frontline to MCA in 1986 overturned <laughs> this past DOJ. Now, there is a lot of people that have made big moves after our, uh, JFK happened to stop being president. And uh, they were buddies and um, suspicious. When the head of Jam Productions, Jerry Michelson, opposed the 2010 merger of Live Nation and Ticketmaster, he cited that 1962 agreement with the Justice Department. Then, last year, when the Senate had a hearing about the Taylor Swift ticket sale, guess who was there? 
our friend Jerry Michelson, okay? So, if you're looking at what's happening with Britney, what's happening with Diddy, politicians selling out to corporate interests and military defense contractors and um, supposed allies committing a mass unaliving, it's all the same people. I mean, look at what happened with propaganda anywhere and you'll understand why the American Empire had such a vested interest in taking control of Hollywood and it, m the music industry is unique because they tour right they can go places other people can't go and just like evangelical or other missionaries that travel around the world who do you think comes along with them spies so, yeah, just think about it.